Alright guys, so I'm here at the creek right now and somehow I managed to forget my rides. I thought that they were in my Jeep and I, I guess they weren't. I didn't even look. So my sister's bringing them here right now. Chris and his buddy are making their way up the creek to meet me at this spot and then we're gonna go catch some smallmouth. So stay tuned guys. You're gonna you're gonna like this video. Creek smallmouth fishing is probably one of my absolute favorite things to do, so should be a pretty good day. Also, if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. If you like this video, hit that like button, give it a thumbs up. Hey, thank you. Oh my gosh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> she brought me my rod, so now we could go in the creek and catch some smallmouth. Dude, am I recording? Yes, I am, dude. That was second cast with the freaking uh, cicada lure. So I'm pretty sure the cicada lure challenge is going up before this video, but I still have this thing tied on. I was just waiting for Chris and his buddy to get up here. That was my second cast with this thing. I almost didn't even record right now. I was like, dude, I'm not gonna catch anything on the cicada lure. Wrong. Dude, this, this might be my new favorite topwater lure. No joke. Got a nice little smallie though. Topwater cicada lure. Here she goes. All right, here we go. This is what we do for the smallmouth bass. <laughs> this is what you got to do. Ow! Oh God! Oh God! <laughs> I'm home free, boys. Yeah, We're in the promised land. <laughs> oh! Oh my God! I think he's on a bed. Two pounds. He's like blind in one eye. He looks weird, dude. It looks like he's dying. Blind in one eye. Zombie smallie. It's like a two, two and a half pounder. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, wow. That's exactly what we're after. I love catching five inchers. You know, we'll just we'll just look at like the two and a half, three pounders. Let them swim by. We don't want that. I like them all shapes and sizes. You like them all shapes and sizes. There Same goes for my for women. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you see, you see him, dude. That one's got some nice colorations. That's a better one. It's my first halfway decent one of the day. Probably still literally like a ten incher. She smoked it though. Smoked the weightless three inch senko. Look at that smallie right there. That was supposed to be a majestic release. <laughs> you have a hot. Yeah. Oh, yep. Okay, right. Put it in front of me. Got him. Oh my gosh! Did you get? You got her, dude. Oh my gosh! Dude, that was aggressive. She didn't even know we were there. That's a good one, dude. Nice. Finally, Chris has got to go. I can't believe she ate it. I can't. I can't believe I, that she ate that aggressively. That's like a. That's like a two and a half pound. I know. I, I wanted you to get her. You got her. That's a good one, dude. That was a nice landing. Just sight fish that one. She's two pounds probably. Nice like 15, 16 inch fish. Nice. We did it. Nice. You did it. Put it back. <laughs> no. There she goes. Right back to her home. Oh, yeah, beautiful. She look, I've been underestimating them I think because that looks like a pounder. Doesn't that look like not that big in the water? Have you got a big one yet today, or has Chris been stealing all the thunder? Chris has been stealing them all. <laughs> oh, that's that's a good one, dude. There you go. Yeah, that's a good one. Speaking of the, speaking of the big ones, you know, we'll just lay in one. It's not it's not quite as big as the one Chris caught. Ran right at you. Yeah, dude, I, don't, I thought it was a baby for a second. Come here, girl. Come here, girl. She's dude. She's a healthy looking gal. Okay, all right, hold up. You got one? Are we doubled up? Is it a good one? It's an okay one. It's running right at us. 
Oh. <laughs> I, uh, I lied. It's an okay one, huh? <laughs> Dude, it's still nice to double up on some small Yours mouths, some small jaws, a couple of nice fish. Chris just caught that one that's probably like two pounds. Mine's probably like a pound and a quarter. Super nice looking fish though. Bye-bye. And Chris caught another drink right there. Nice. Dude, look at her. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Dude, get the hook in your mouth, girl. I'm sight fishing these, these giants out here, boys. I watched her engulf the entire thing, you know. Sometimes little bass need love too. <laughs> That's all I gotta say about that one. Uh oh. Got her. Got her, baby. I sight fish I sight fish that one. That's another good one, dude. Dude, oh my gosh. She did not look that big in the water. I thought that was about a 10 incher. Oh my gosh, dude. She's going nuts. Got her. It's probably bigger than my last one. It was pretty shallow. She was? Dude, she was right next to there. There was like a bunch of cruisers. And I saw this one cruise by. This is the biggest one and she just turned on it right when I cast by. That's like a pound and a half at least. It's a nice small That's a one. That's a pretty small mount, dude. That's white. Look at that fish right there. No. There she goes. Right back to her home. Oh, here's a good smallie right here. Oh my gosh. No, no way. Dude, she almost ate it. No way, dude! Nice. <laughs> Sight fish the heck out of her. What is this smallmouth thinking, man? She ate it at my feet. She's not done yet. Dude, is she crazy? Suicidal. <laughs> oh, man. Dude, I flipped it on her and she looked at it immediately like, oh, she's gonna bite. You see anything in there? No. Yeah, we saw a couple like back there, but quite a ways. And not like a lot. We've just seen like one every once in a while. Yeah. Nice, like probably my biggest one yet. Another like pound and a half or though. Say probably about the same size as that last one. Literally hit it at my feet. Nuts. There she goes. Back to cruise another day. Eat some more weightless Senkos. Oh, I hit her on that entire time. Wow, wow. I wasn't looking, I was looking over to the right dude, and then I just felt weight and I looked up and I just see a nice small mouth cruising towards me. I'm like, dude, I think I have her on. She literally just had it in her mouth. Dude, she was up in like a foot of water. Crazy. Come here, girl. So wide. <laughs> Look at that. You know we're in Illinois, right? <laughs> <laughs> so weird. What? <laughs> yeah, look at look at those patterns. Look at that small Are you mouth. Serious? <laughs> that is so insane. All right, guys. So probably another like pound and a half, maybe close to two pounds. I'm not really good at estimating small mouth to be honest, but probably a 15 or 16 inch fish, easy. Crush that little three inch senko. Look at that fish. Look at her. She's going right by Chris's feet. Dude, insane. Dude, oh my gosh, you see that thing? Yeah. That thing topwater explosion. That was one of the most aggressive strikes I've ever seen. Look how fat that fish is too. Topwater savage? Topwater savage, dude. I cast it up there, I knew it was shallow as heck, so I, I figured I'd be able to see the bike and it, or the bite. And yeah, she just waked on it hard as heck. That's a chunky little eight, nine incher. Someone's about to catch a three plus pounder. Oh, oh, you broke off? Yeah. Think she'll eat it again? I don't think she'll eat it again. That's a good one too. That's a good one too. Dude, look at her. Dude, Chris just snapped off on another like pound and a half right there. She's got his bait in her mouth. 
I don't think you, I wonder if you guys could see that. There she goes. There she goes. Oh, I'm about to catch one. Not a big one, not a big one though. I don't really want her. I don't really want you, guy. <laughs> Get him out of the way. Get him out of the way, yeah. Good one. Run right at me. Oh, it's a dink. Could not tell. She was running straight at me. Dude, is that the same one I just caught? I kid you not, that looks like the exact same fish I just caught. Is, there's no way to tell, but like, it, like I gotta look at the video because I'm pretty sure it had like that. Look at that. Dude, I think I just caught the same fish twice. <laughs> I'm a dumb you got it, Chris. Okay guys, so it was super windy outside. The audio kind of got all messed up. But basically what happened was, Chris and his buddy David they got to the creek before me, and so they had someone park at the very end of the stretch, and then they drove down together back to the beginning where they wanted to start. And then I kind of met them in the middle along the way. And then when I met them though, David took his bag, put it inside my Jeep, and his key was in there, which his car was at the end of the stretch. So we had to then walk like five, six miles down all these urban frickin' busy streets they didn't have any shoes as you guys can see in some of these clips they have no shoes because their shoes were destroyed so they had to leave those behind we tossed them out in the garbage because they they literally they were worse than having bare feet basically and so now yeah what you're gonna be seeing now is us walking through the freaking town in their bare feet it was just a big disaster oh watch out there's some glass right there Good, nice bare feet <laughs> dude <laughs> Dude, I just want to go back to the Jeep. <laughs> Can we get a... Your feet okay? <laughs> Dude, yeah. Are you okay? Oh, we're okay. We're it's okay? okay right now. A little blistery. Are you alright? Oh, God. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> we made it. We made it. Okay, so after about an hour of walking, we finally make it back to the car. And now I just want to kind of recap the trip really quick. We didn't catch any giant smallmouth. We caught a lot of like 15, 16 inches, which is pretty average for that creek. I mean, when you're going to a tiny little creek, you're not really expecting giants. There are some giants in there. We saw a couple like three, four pounders today. But I mean, you're not really expecting to catch those every time you go out there. The creek also gets a ton of pressure. We probably saw like 10 people fishing the creek today. In the one clip you saw, there's guys bow fishing the creek. I mean, it's a really public area. It's an urban, it's an urban creek fishing video. That's kind of the whole point. I mean, so that's just kind of what I've come to expect from the creek. There's a lot of little fish clips I didn't even put in there. We probably caught like 40, 50 fish. There's a lot of like little tiny smallmouth in there. But I just try to stick to the bigger ones for the most part. Thanks for watching today's video, guys. The next video is going to be another tournament video, so it should be pretty awesome. I know you guys, in the comment section, you guys seem to be really liking these tournament videos. So I'm going to keep doing them. This next one, we did pretty good. Stay tuned. Catch you guys next time. That was me being John B. I'm appropriating his uh, YouTube channel. Yeah.